So I was surprised to find out this is your first time running a show. Yes. Because counterpart is so intricate. So First time doing anything. Uh, no, it's uh, yeah. I mean, I've never been involved in television before, so it's a lot of firsts for me on this. I come from movies, and um, that's kind of the language I speak. But we were able to bring a lot of that to TV, and then I was able to learn a lot from uh, the people I work with. What was the hardest part of the transition for you? I would say the endurance it takes. I, I mean, that's really the thing that you don't expect uh, in television is just. You know, you get done with a long, long day and you still have 139 days left, uh, you know, compared to a movie where you kind of come and go and you can rest in between. I mean, TV just keeps coming at you. So I was not ready for that. I, you know, to take care of my body, take care of my spirit and, and, and stay sort of centered. was uh, It's hard. It's really hard. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> so given the length of time that you're working on it, how early on in the process do you have the whole story for the season figured out? We, um... You know, in season one, we had all 10 scripts written before we started shooting, and that was really a dream. Uh, for season two, of course, it's season two. We don't have that kind of time. We were able to finish uh, five scripts before we started shooting the first, and then we were still writing the next five as we were shooting. Uh, so you're kind of just, it's that feeling of laying track ahead of the train, and you see the train coming up behind you, uh, and it keeps you up at night. Um, but it, it, it also keeps you honest with the material uh, because, you know, you don't, you don't have time to entertain uh, the types of ideas that are never going to go anywhere. Uh, so it's it's you know it adds to the process that speed. So in the second season scenario, uh, do scripts do future scripts ever change based on interactions that you see on screen or in the dailies? Oh, absolutely. I mean, and that's the best thing. So we had because we had the ten scripts written before season one. On one level, it was a relief. On the other, it's like you're seeing what the actors are bringing to these roles, and you're like, oh my god, I want to see. JK do something like that or I want to see Sarah do something like that or Harry do something like that and and um, we can't do it because we've written them all and we've boarded it all and we have it all done uh, in season two it was our chance to do everything we always wanted to do with all these characters uh, Harry who plays Peter Quayle is the best example of that in a lot of ways because I don't want to spoil anything but let's just say come episode three um, there's some stuff that we get him to do that we've wanted him to do since the very first day uh, we saw him because uh, he's just such a funny guy uh, and has so much going Going for him. So now we can finally use what we get and kick it back to the actors. Um, so throughout season one, like love without knowledge or like the ability to love someone without knowing them seemed like a really strong motif. Mm -hmm. So will that continue to play out in season two? And what made it so important to you to... I th well, I think it's, it's you know, uh, at his core, Howard is a romantic, and uh, and I think there's something really beautiful and sweet about the way he sees Emily uh, as this, you know, in spite of all the things, the transgressions or anything that she maybe, he didn't know about her, he still loves her. In season two, we really deepened that, and we, we took that question very seriously because we wanted to pull that down to a whole other layer, because I think to a certain extent, without getting getting too spoilery, there is this idea of do you really know the person? How can you really love that person if you don't really see her or him for who they really are? And uh, so now we start to complicate that. We start to explore that where maybe Howard isn't uh, as fair to uh, to his wife as he should be, but because he doesn't see the truth in her, and maybe that's something he has to come to terms with this year. That's awesome. Uh, so finally, um, I think you've said before that season one was kind of like before the Berlin Wall came up, and then season two is like the Cold War yes. once it has. So how far does that analogy go, and what made you want to sort of parallel the Cold War? I think, uh, you know, you look, at, uh, you look at the way world events are, uh, and the, the Cold War these days feels almost kind of quaint um, and easier to paste allegories into than our very murky political situation nowadays. And so we really wanted to take the allegory of the Cold War, this idea of walls, this idea of, uh, you know, a, a divisions that we put up between ourselves, and tell it in a context that both felt like a throwback, but also felt like something new and something that we could really tell where the, the person on the other side of the wall has a little bit of ourselves in them too, and maybe we should start seeing it that way. And so, you know, we started to explore that, and and uh, season two is very much a Cold War show, um, still. Uh, you know, I do think we will sort of slowly evolve past it as, as the years, you know, if we're given the chance and the years go by. But, um, 
yeah, the wall has gone up. It's post-1961. We're in the, I would say this year, maybe the best comparison would be like the Cuban Missile Crisis. You know, so now we're getting towards 62, 63 here, uh, where things are getting a little more serious and a little more uh, dangerous. Um, and uh, But we also have some hints of, we did a lot of research this year on the Red Scare and going back to the 50s and, and McCarthyism. And, uh, you know, you see it as early as the first episode when it comes to just looking at your neighbor and wondering, can I trust this person? You know, so or the person you sleep next to, you know, in certain cases. So that's uh, that's that's kind of we, we go in both directions this season. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you.